chasing the sun to power a moon rover, kicking open a door to manage a spinning cabin. The seemingly unrealistic stunts by Du Guyue, the protagonist from the recent Chinese summer box office blockbuster Moon Man, were in fact super scientific. Apart from being China's biggest summer box office smash, the movie was also the first in China's cinematic history to successfully blend science and pop culture. So, how exactly was the integration achieved? Who were proofreading behind the scenes to ensure the movie's scientific integrity?、Uh, we have、uh, participated in the preparation of the movie from the very beginning.、Uh, our、uh, advisory team at Galactic Energy、uh, provides suggestions regarding the launch sequence,、uh, the countdown sequence,、uh, and the rationale behind、uh, bringing the the cosmic hammer, which is a bomb, back to Earth. Uh, we have also、uh, performed calculations regarding、uh, the the use of the the air inside the the cabin of the spacecraft、uh, right. to stabilize the the vehicle. What plot particular was that?、Uh, du Gu Yue, which right, is the protagonist. The, yeah, yeah, who was in the、uh, in the spacecraft,、uh, and there was a lot of、uh, object that、uh, incoming object. Uh, hitting, his, hitting, hitting, hitting his、uh, spacecraft. Spacecraft, right? Yeah, yeah I remember and, and, that. And, and the spacecraft st-、uh, starts to rotate. After Du Guyue kicked the, the the door open,、mm-hmm. the hatch open, and the、uh, the air escape, and、uh, the rotation speed start to decrease. Right. And、uh, managed to stop、yeah. that rotating spacecraft. Yeah. Yes, that's、uh, actually we we did some calculation. Is that possible? That For any spacecraft, and so what's the science behind it? Yeah, please expand. So there are actually two parts.、Uh, one is that when the door open,、uh, there is、uh, angular velocity、uh, imposed on the door. Based on conservation of angular momentum, we know that once the door open, the spacecraft start to rotate in the opposite direction, like New- Newton's third law. Right. If there's a force exerting on an object,、mm-hmm. there is an opposite force that、yes. exerting back. The the other one is that there is、uh, air inside the, the inside the spacecraft. So can can we say it's pressurized? It's pressurized. Yes, it's pressurized. Once the hatch is open suddenly and the air escapes, so that create another source of of、uh, torque,、mm-hmm. restoring torque. So if we combine that the the torque generated by the opening the hatch. And the torque generated by the air escaping the spacecraft, we have a certain amount of restoring、um, torque or, or uh, restoring uh, angular velocity.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. To to stop the vehicle stop. from spinning、yes. anymore. Yes. Yeah. And how is it going to be in reality?、Um, actually, Can he really stop it? Yes. <laughs> we found out that、uh, although the there is. There is a certain amount of restoring force. We、uh, do not think that the force is is large enough to stop the rotation.、Mm-hmm. So there is a certain amount of acceleration.、Um, right,、yeah. right, and we totally understand. What else、um, apart from this plot? Another one that I think is very interesting is that、um, there is one one uh, plot that Du Guyue、uh, dr- uh, drives a, a moon a roving vehicle、uh, on the moon surface. Right. And in order to f- prevent the vehicle from running out of power,、uh, Du Guyue drives the, the the vehicle in the direction of the sunlight. Right. Right. So is that possible?、Uh, we actually did the calculation, the uh, linear uh, speed that the moon rotate. How we, much is that? It's, it's about sixteen point. It's about sixteen kilometer per、uh, per hour. It's it's actually it's it's not not very fast, but. It's、it may it may be fast compared to other lunar rover l- roving、um, vehicle, but、uh, we our team thought the 16 kilometer per hour is、uh, is reasonable. What do you think about these exaggerations、uh, for a sci-fi movie? And where do you think we should draw the line between science and comedy? So yeah,、uh, Moon Man is a is a sci-fi comedy, and some. Level of exaggeration is acceptable、uh, as long as the physical, or the phenomenon、uh, expressed in the movie follows scientific principles. When people watch the movie, they get the, the thrill or the excitement. I think that's the ultimate goal. 
But we, we think that after people watched the movie and went, went home from the movie theater, they may start to think uh, what type of uh, physical phenomena in the movie is uh, uh, realistic or what type of, uh, what, what part of the movie is not realistic. And they may even think about uh, what's the scientific principle behind some of the plots. Uh, I think this is another level of uh, impact that a sci-fi uh, movie can have on ordinary individuals.